Hi everybody, um, I'm going to hang out here for just a few minutes because I know we have several who are planning to join us, so I want to give them a chance to find us and join in. Uh, our purpose today is simply to be together, to pray, to offer a moment of calm and peace and a reminder that those these, though these are scary times, um, that one, we are not alone in them, and that two, we follow a God who is here, who is still in charge, and all will be well, even when it doesn't feel like it might be that way. So as you're joining us, I want to invite you just to take a couple of really deep breaths. If your day has been anything like mine, you have been fielding lots of emails and phone calls and text messages as suddenly everything is shifting and changing. And all of the things we thought we knew about what was going to happen in the next several weeks are changing. And that can feel overwhelming. So I want to invite you to just take a breath. Breathe. Bring in full air, maybe the biggest breath you've had a chance to take all day long. And again. I hope that as our friends are joining on that you are able to participate in this moment as a time to remember all is well and all will be well. And if you continue to need that reminder, even after this time is over, I hope that we've added in another tool to your toolbox and maybe reminded you of one that you already have. We're going to practice a breath prayer together today. I'm going to give you several options of ways that you might use breath prayer in your normal everyday life. And so I want to say this first, breath prayer is one of those things you can use anywhere. You can use it when you're driving. You can use it when you are in a frustrating situation because you don't have to stop and bow your head and close your eyes. You can practice breath prayer no matter what else is going on or what else you might be doing at the time. And so it seems like that's a really helpful tool for us to have right now as it seems like every few minutes something else is shifting and changing to have the ability to stop and to be in touch with the loving God who lives in us, who is with us, and who is among us. So with all of that being said, this is what I am envisioning for these next few minutes together. Um, first, I'm going to offer a blessing, and then we will practice in breath prayer together, and I will close us out with another blessing. Um, this practice won't last longer than about 10 minutes, so then you can move on to the next thing that might have been changing while we've been here together. But I hope for this time you're able to put your phone away and not see um, lots of reminders or shifts or changes, but that just for right now, all you see in here is the opportunity to be with God. So let's begin, and I'll begin with the following blessing. This is written by Jan Richardson. She's one of my favorites, um, and this is in her book, In the Sanctuary of Women. And the blessing reads like this, throughout this day, may you know the breath of God breathing in you. With that blessing, take a deep breath. With your next inhale, imagine bringing into your very body the presence of the living God. Trace God's path as God's presence moves from your nose
to your lungs. To your heart. All the way down to your toes. All the way out to your fingertips. And all the way up into your mind. Your very body is teeming with the presence of God. Every cell is evidence of God's love for you and God's presence with you. When you practice breath prayer, the practice is simply this, to breathe in, to breathe out. And in doing so, to remind yourself of God's presence. If the act of breathing in and of itself isn't enough to slow your mind down, you can assign words to your breath. So for your inhale, you might imagine breathing in God's love for you. And for your exhale, imagine sharing that love with the world around you. Breathe in God's love. Breathe out God's love. Breathe in God's love. Breathe out God's love. At other times, you might choose to use the words Emmanuel. So breathe in Emmanuel and breathe out, be near to us. Breathe in Emmanuel. Breathe out, be near to us. Another time, you might choose to use the words Spirit, lead me. Breathe in on the word spirit. Breathe out with the words lead me. And still yet again, you could choose to breathe in true love and breathe out, casts out fear. Breathe in true love. 
breathe out casts out fear. However you choose to practice with breath prayer, it's my hope that this is one more helpful tool or reminder of a tool that you have with you at all times. And I'll leave you with this blessing, knowing we'll be back here again tomorrow together at three o'clock. But this is the blessing I leave you with now. It's an adaptation from 1 Thessalonians 5. May the God of peace make you whole and holy so that you are ready to receive God's presence. May you be kept safe in mind, body, heart, and soul. Our God has called you and will not fail you. You are so dearly loved. May you go from here sharing that love